Hey YouTube, Daily Shoe Frenzy here, bringing you the Jordan 1, I think these are called UNCs, this is the right shoe, size is this, 12 and a half, not a sneakers exclusive, but I thought it'd be uh, a good idea to pick these up, obviously, um, yeah, not looking like such a great idea, I'm gonna send them to Stadium Goods and see what I could get for them, I think pre-sale, well, not, I say pre-sale price, but you got to put a ticket price in on Stadium Goods. So I think I paid $141 for these. Is it $140? I want to say something like that. And I posted them on there for, I think the max was $210. I think I'm like $180. So I might make a few bucks out of it, um, give or take, if it sells. If not, what I usually do is, um, well, it's going to sell eventually. But I usually, let's see if I can, it looks blurry. Let's see if it focuses. There it goes, because I'm zooming in. Um, yeah, usually I put them on sale, uh, start usually off of 5%. If it does it on a long weekend or something like that, if I'm having trouble moving a shoe, like I said, this is the right one. Um, well, I don't think so with these. Usually, you know, the usual, um, rotation people get theirs in their hands and then you know they wind up quick selling sort of like me but I'm also trying to make some money um, along with the quick sell so I don't quick sell uh, to try to lose money obviously but I hold them for a little bit um, if I see the markets not moving then I um, sell them usually after a month or so give or take a month maybe a month and a half so I've had these since last week I want to say I got these in just to have time to shoot the video. So this is the left shoe. Once again, size 12 and a half, Jordan 1, low UNC, if you will. And that's based on that colorway. I don't know how well the light's picking it up. It looks lighter to me, um, looking at it with my eye, but through the camera, it looks like it's a little bit darker. I don't know what they're calling that colorway. As always, they got some unique color, colorway names. Uh, I think the blue is the Noor. So they call it uh, DK Powder Blue Black. So they had like 50 names on the box. But yeah, resale isn't looking too crazy on those. That was a gamble. Um, also, I got these I'm going to send in. Jordan 1 High uh, GS. Let me see if I adjust my camera so I can pick that up better. Um, GS, what size is this? Size six and a half. Uh, they did receive, they, I mean, Stadium Goods did receive my uh, highs. Um, those are still on there. I think I got those at 215. I did sell the uh, Jordan 1 uh, denims. Uh, I think that was six and a half. GS lost. I paid 84 for those. I think they sold after fees. I got $79. So I lost five bucks on that. Um, yeah, you live and you learn. Move on to the next one. So I'm going to send these in along with the UNCs. What else do I have on there? I got those Adidas. I'm drawing a blank on the nickname. But the blue ones with the stripe that just came out. I think they're based after South Park. Uh, Adidas 80s or something like that. It's called. That's This is the left one. It's a clean looking sneaker. Um, I call them taxis? Yellow toes? They're taxis. I, I keep on saying yellow toes. But that's the name I want to give them. But... Yeah, the taxi says six and a half. This is the right one. Um, I think the leather on the, the men's ones was a little bit better. Um, this this feels a lot stiffer. I'm not a, a materials guy, but it feels different to me, the feel of it, from what I remember from the other ones that I sent in, the highs. And like I said, the Adidas 80 South Park, whatever that is, I'll look up the name beforehand. Resale on Stadium Goods is looking good. On Alias, looking terrible. It's like $80. I think I paid $104 for those. Size, I want to say those are $12.5. I'm looking over there in the corner. Um, and then I got some really expensive shoes I got. Uh, a couple of dunks coming in. I get I got a dunk high from, that's uh, an old school one, but... And a dunk high coming in. I think those will be here Thursday, Friday. And a couple of dunk lows. I got the Air Force One Puerto Rico um, coming in too. 
So I bought those aftermarket, obviously, on resale, taking a little gamble, sort of like doing some stocks. It's not financial advice, but um, looked at some prices, saw some prices online. So I was like, yeah, let me take a gamble. There's nothing else coming out as hot. Um, I missed on the dunk today, whatever that was, Clarkson or whatever it's called. I think it's Atlanta Bay Shoe after college. I don't know. But uh, it was red, black, and white, I think, today. Today is September, October, excuse me, 11th. So, yeah, I missed on those uh, this morning with sneakers. I did get the, uh, by accident, True Peace or whatever it is. I don't know. I'm going to send that back. Um, I looked at prices on Alias, not looking good. So, StockX looked like it had decent prices. Stadium Good doesn't even have the shoe up. Um, be True. I couldn't even tell you what the shoe was. It was an accident. I thought I was um, under the dunks, but apparently I've been on a bid. I um, won that by accident because the, the sneak, the dunks was a draw. So I don't know. That's more than likely going back. As soon as I get them in, I'm going to look at resale. If it isn't, which I highly doubt, going to be where I want it to be. I think the shoe all said and done was like 125 I want to say. But I have no intention of keeping that shoe. That was a straight accident. So that's going to go back. Um, then I got those. Those I would call exclusives that I got in. I mean, they came out already. So And I paid resale for them. So I got to do a price breakdown. I think the three I got coming in with the Puerto Rico pack, I got a dunk in there. And uh, there was something else I bought. It's like 900 and some odd dollars for those three pairs. Uh, shipping and tax, I believe they charged me. So nine and some change. I think when I broke it down, divided it up uh, with the shipping and tax, came out to like $300 a shoe. So um, I think, well, not think, I know on resale, those were higher than that, each shoe. Um, I'll check them when they come in with the resellers. The market's all over the place right now. So you'll check a shoe. I don't know about those because those already came out, but as far as releases, you'll check a shoe one day. It may be $50 over what you want, well, for me, $50 over what I want, um, $50 profit, I should say, profit, I mean, after retail, uh, you'll go check it in a week or so, um, even sometimes three days later, and it's below retail or, you know, just breaking even. So you got to be quick with it. Um, I'm not, once again, a long hold person, so I'm not interested in that piece of the game, but that, uh, that's why I got into sort of the resale, resale, if you will. So somebody that's already got the shoe, sold it to the aftermarket, and I'm buying the aftermarket. So I figured I'd get into that just to test the waters. Shoes are expensive when you start doing that, though. So beware of that. It's it's a gamble, like anything else, because you don't know. Just buying these, I don't know these are going to resale. Price is a lot lower. Uh, entry price is a lot lower, but also the resale isn't there. Those shoes... I think on each of them, I was looking up probably 50 to $100. I saw one shoe over 200 So I'll look it up and I'll mention that when I shoot the video. Um, and the reason that the website, I guess, they got their price locked in. When people online, I think it's the Sneak City is uh, where I got them from. It's the, the two young ladies. I saw their YouTube video. I've been watching them for a minute. But uh, I knew they had a website. So I went on there and did some homework. And uh, I think it was Saturday. Yeah, Saturday just passed. And uh, so some shoes that I think I could make some money on. So that's where I got them. And uh, I found three. It was more than that. It was like seven that uh, they had priced. And I think I could make money off of the, their price. So I think I know I can make money off their price. It's just a matter of how much. Like I said, it was 50. And then when she was like 100, 200, um, via stadium goods pricing so the shoes usually sit on stadium goods maybe a little bit longer than alias but alias prices was them and stock x i don't know what's going on with their pricing but those two other sites i matched them up i didn't like what i was seeing on those two sites so i plugged the sneakers in stadium goods and looked like there's profit to be made there um it's which is a gamble when you send in stadium goods for me stadium goods a flight club yes they're gonna um, price, I could price the shoes higher, but they also sometimes sit longer. So it's a, that's another part of the game. Um, you got to be willing, and that's not a part of the game I like. But there's money to be made. So like I said, I'll try those out. 
I got some of the uh, uh, Dunk High, and they're gray and green. I don't I'm losing the nickname of them, but I got those coming in. I did buy another um, Adidas 80s. Uh, I think that's the name of it if I'm butchering it, but uh, South Park's shoe. I got another one. I think it's 11 and a half coming in. And I think I got another dunk after that on the way, third party. So I got some, well, past exclusives, I should say, or uh, re-releases. Well, not really re-releases, but after market uh, shoes coming in because just buying these. Um, not saying it's not working out, but I just wanted to try something different. Um, cost a little bit more money, uh, like I said, price of entry, but I'll see what happens. Uh, I looked on Nike, I ain't seen nothing dropping. There's a dunk dropping Saturday, um, but and there's some money to be made on dunks. But other than probably some restocks or, or via the Nike app, I don't think there's anything happening there. Usually the night before morning of, I'll uh, check and see what's coming out for Nike dunk re-releases. Um, so I've been a little lackluster with that. I know the Pandas still been selling like crazy. I call them black whites, um, even resale, you know, 30 to $40 to make there. But I don't buy in bulk, so there's no real money there um, as far as multiplying your dollars. So I figured, let me try these, uh, like I said, re-release -re -re um, sneakers that have been sold a couple of times and flipped. So try my hand at, the, at those with a couple of pairs. So... We'll see what happens. I'll document it, obviously, uh, via YouTube. Shoot the video, win or lose, as usual. Uh, so everybody uh, gets to see on, on on my dime. But like I said, I've been doing this for 16 years, plus uh, sneakers and whatever else, and then prior to that, before the internet. So we'll see what happens. Not meaning I'm going to be right and make some money, but like I said, we'll see what happens. And uh, the next video will be those Adidas 80s, South Park, whatever the name of them, the, the blue and white ones with the three stripe on them. So uh, until then, on to the next one.